Hey everybody, welcome back to Starfire Gaming. I am Sir Joseph and this is Baldur's Gate 3. We are in the Steel Watch Foundry. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, we rescued a bunch of Gondians and we are going downstairs to try to destroy the Foundry and get rid of the Steel Watch to um, weaken Gorkash. Let's go ahead and go inside. Straight into initiative. <sighs> All right, so we got some Gondians and a bunch of dudes. Gondian here, surrounded by a bunch of dudes. Some Gondians, uh, a Gondian here, surrounded by a bunch of dudes, and a Steel Watch, a, or a Hellfire Watcher. Okay, they're tougher than the regular Steel Watch. Let's take a look at these guys. All right, so they're resistant to non-magical attacks. They're vulnerable to lightning, immune to psychic, immune to poison. They blow up. Can't change their form. All right. Oh, some of these guys are already hurt, which is good. Try to rescue this guy first. These guys are a little more, a little more set on time. There's three versus four as opposed to one v four and one v four plus. He's a little damaged, not much, but. All right, let's go ahead and do topple. Fall by my hand. Alright. Good way to start this fight. Either way, let's go after the first guy. Almost got him. Oh, there's a steel, another hellfire rock. Oh, he missed, yay. You go, Gandhian. Critically hit, awesome. Exactly what I wanted. Shocking grass, but he's blind. So he's like limited to, you know, 
three meter attacks, which isn't much. Aid. Let's do an aid. How did I get moved? All right. Um, <clears throat> we're down to one spell. We're going to have to do a short rest here soon with him. Kill this guy. Probably kill both of these guys. Yeah, I don't know if we can kill him as well. I'm gonna load on the steel watch. Watch the little guys. Try to thin the herd some. Um, let's, um, mm, all right, let's. Hex on him. One shot at him, two shots at him. Didn't kill him, I didn't think I would, but it was worth a try. We did kill the one guy. You fight against progress. Try to banish one of these Steel Watchers for two turns. Ooh, only a 25% chance. That's not a good use of his fourth level spell. Daylight. high chance for dominate either. I'd hate to use a fifth level spell slot on only less than a 50% chance of success. Maybe 
graveyard standby double shot, I guess. Double critical hit in a row, exactly what we needed. That's terrible. So basically, we've been attacked three times and been critically hit every single time. Holy smokes. Gandians is dead. Push to devil, that makes total sense. Where did that super wounded guy go? He didn't get healed, did he? Take that, Steel Watch. Um, I try to thin these guys down some. Can't get far with a disengage that way. Is 
engage. Don't linger. Come down here. Shocking grasp. Oh, he's silenced. Who, who casts a silence spell? This guy. Where is this guy at? Him. Well, you suck. Um. Oh, and she lost concentration on her guardian spirit? No, it says she still has it, okay. Lay into him. Heard again, we try to thin the herd. We gotta get rid of this silenced guy, that's... Can't cast any spells, because the guy's silenced. Well, let's come down and stab him to death. been the proper thought. And we finished him off. All right. Oh, not paying attention. Bend the knee. Let's see if we can say you're playing this guy off the map. Those takes out our actions as well. Warning. Sequence trigger imminent. Yeah, we gotta grab it while we got the chain.
Oh, got into his range, so we're gonna stop there. And let's go ahead and we'll just suck down this little potion. Awesome! Okay. Alright, trying to thin the herd some. That sucks. Can't do much, but get a little bit out of range, maybe. Star spell. We don't have any lightning spells here, do we? And yeah, shocking grasp, that's it. Oh, we're immobilized because we're maimed. So, we could use our last spell slot on this. We don't have a lot of really good spells that are... Because all the area can tr attack, I mean, there's... It's really hard to use any of them here. Um... Try to thin the herd. Target that guy at all? No. Disadvantaged because we're mobilized. That sucks. All right, I'm not going to use the spell right now. Thirty six, either way. I don't really want to push him into the Gondon. Oh, we hit all three times. That was a miracle. Almost 
dead. Oh, well, heals a level six, which we don't have any level six slots because we summoned the angel dude. She doesn't have any movement shenanigans. Dimension door. Bad guys can't use my trick. It's going to hurt us running in here, but... Radiant and Psychic, they're immune to Psychic, but it does extra Radiant. He's got like a million attacks. I thought we had him beat up more than that. Oh, it was two of them going. It was both of them. Got it. Got it. That's the hurt. That's the healthy one. This is the hurt one. Lightning. I don't have a lightning arrow. I thought I had lightning arrows. Explosion arrows. Oh, I thought we had lightning arrows. That sucks. A four percent chance of hitting it, but it would also kill Will because that's a huge explosion. Not a dragon. Darn it, not arcane. Acid. Fire. 
Nice. Roaring thunder. He's a construct. Try to kill this guy, then the herd. Why don't I have disadvantage? Why do I have disadvantage on my maimed? I'm feared, probably. Or of terror. Yep. Got 32 hit points. It's just a regular attacking. It's not going to finish him off. All right, we've got to take care of that exploding thing just to make sure. First thing we're going to do is we're going to drink this potion. Slaughtering these Gandians. Oh, we, I am so beat up. It's horrible. All right. sequence activated. Uh-oh. 
That's not good. Warning. Sequence trigger imminent. I guess. One day I'll catch a break. I don't want to run all that way down. Um... Another Gandhian. Are there any Gandhians left? No. No, they all died. We didn't save a single one. Again with disadvantage. Gosh dang it. There we go. Now we're at 91. That's good. Whoops. That was horrible. We didn't save any of those dudes. Do your last short rest. My face protects me. We are down to five spell slots with her. That's not good at all. All right, let's do some looting. More Gandians. They gave it their all, but it wasn't enough. What to do? 
go there. Handwritten ledger appears to be a meticulous record of the steel foundry's production cycle. Update. Mechanical parts of the submersible that had passed their Gandhian function warranty date were removed on Three's day and replaced with new pieces. Should pieces be brought from the dock warehouse back to the shop, so points of wear can be noted and preventative measures can be taken to avoid fault or failure. Boundary depths in order to destroy it. Along the way, we can liberate any Gandhians we meet. Yeah, well, we didn't liberate a single Gandhi in this, on this fight. We did great the first fight, terrible this fight. Written orders to protect Gortash's submersible vehicle at any cost. Why were you here? Could have saved him, but didn't work out that way. The corpse regards you lifelessly. What is going on here? The Bay Knights collared us, forced us to build the steel watches. Nights make you do. Kill my husband. Oh, little bastard. That's. Uh. Why did they make you kill your husband? Because he found out where they're holding our son. Body. The corpse remains silent. It does not know. What do you do in the foundry? Used to prep brains for parasitic insertion. Now I create optic relays. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Well, that's kind of brutal, making him kill his own husband. A 
book of adages and precepts for Bainites, providing the basic tenets of worship for the Lord of Tyranny, with suggested prayers for common situations. The heart of the book is Bain's 12 admonitions, a dozen rules for proper Bainite conduct, with punishments specified for failure to comply. The book opens easily to a page with two of Bain's most popular admon admonish admonitions, number six, the reprimand for leniency, and number seven, the rebuke for false compassion. always looks disgusting. Please help. The Bainites have taken our families hostage. They're being held in an underwater prison. Get to the submersible by the... The rest of the note is obscured by blood. regards you lifelessly. How do I disable the steel watch? Two men! <laughs> Only two men knows! How did you die? The Bainites and my husband beat me! For eavesdropping! The other dead guys has How many guards are in the building? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. What did you hear? The prison. The iron throne. It's underwater. Submersible. Under warehouse. Docks. Going on here. Bay Knights came, took over the foundry, forced us to make steel watches. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay. Black Gauntlet Reeves, when the Steel Watcher quota for the next 10 days is delivered, we will consider Watcher Phase 1 complete and can start winding down operations in the Foundry. We will have enough automatons for our immediate purposes. And besides, we have an unexpected tadpole shortage that limits productions. There is no longer a need to coddle the Gandians if they prove truculent. You are authorized to execute individual troublemakers and stack their corpses somewhere visible as an example. Lord Gortash. I smell death and decay. We're near cadaver preparation, aren't we? All bastards are shipped in from all over the realms. Most come from a fellow called Balthazar, by way of Moonrise Towers. Not anymore. Balthazar's dead. That thing's moving. Excerpt from a practical introduction to Miracleite 
operative necromancy. A note has been scrawled at the top of the page. Make full use of the motivator should the Gondian artificers prove unwilling. Step one, orbitable trepentation of the cranium can be completed using the provided trefine or drill. Ensure the surgical tool does not pierce the somatosensory cortex. All right. I understood maybe one of those words. <laughs> it's weird to let us attack that brain or that body. The inscription reads, Fresh supplies for the steel watch, courtesy of Necromancer Balthazar. The cadaver with the brain removed. Is this how they puppet the steel watch? The cadaver with the brain removed. Is this how they puppet the steel watch? inside. something and it went down to the bottom it didn't go to the bottom so oh well moving on if I've counted my footsteps correctly okay. this deal oh, is the bounty steps and the numerosity stuff up here hmm. Please report that we have sourced a vessel and pilot to transport the hostages to the Iron Throne. Red Hammer is a godless fool, but his love of gold outweighs any moral qualms he might have. He will do for now. Alice wager record. First day break. Just dug okay. Just nothing important there. Alrighty, well this is a good spot to call it, so we're gonna go ahead and stop here. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. As always, like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate that as well. I have been Sir Joseph. You guys are awesome. Until next time. Stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you later.